I am Dr. Nicole Plummer, lecturer of cultural studies in the Institute of Caribbean Studies, Faculty of Humanities and Education, the University of the West Indies, Mona Campus. My PhD covered the development of a business culture in Jamaica, encompassing the rituals, the practices, the norms that made up how business is conducted in Jamaica from 1655 to 1807. And the findings which indicates, for example, an, an interpretation of wealth that is largely very much oriented upon grandeur and excess has translated very much into how Jamaicans interpret wealth. So there's a paper that is due to be published by Dr. Erin McLeod and myself, which looks at wealth and the vision in and of wealth and representations of wealth in popular Jamaican music. And what it does is that it connects the business culture of the planters in some respects to that of current day Jamaican society. What we find is that there are so many things, the legacies of this kind of plantation business culture, for example, wealth through any means necessary, piratical sources of wealth, men who came up from, from the, um, the gutter, so to speak, using uh, illegal, ill-gotten Ill gains, smuggling, piracy, and who were eventually readily embraced in society and formed the very um, plantation dynasties and how that society absorbed ill-gotten wealth and how it was used to, um, to create planting dynasties. Now, in many respects, it was an amoral society that was harsh, that, that basically utilized human beings as nothing less than uh, productive units devoid of much in terms of feelings and uh, there is so much of what is uh, that can be seen as what is wrong with us that, that is rooted in those kinds of practices and so it's important that we connect um, the present and the past and so other works that I've done for example which looks at how um, wealth is represented not just wealth but how poverty is represented that was done for the Stuart Hall, Hall conference some years ago and is also due to be published looks at how we see wealth poverty so poverty means having to share and so on and incidentally if you juxtapose that with how we perceive wealth you know we see wealth as as selfish for yourself you know and sometimes wealth can also be shared but in a way that is flashy and excessive now another way in which um i i want to use my research to change the world is with um tackling the issue of climate change so looking at the plantation as seen as as it is and the legacy of it and how this kind of divisive uh, um you know, and when I say divisive, dividing man necessarily from, from agriculture, creating this monoculture that alienates us from mother nature, how that translates um, now, and also the inequalities in terms of global trade systems, and how it, it hampers food sovereignty. So, you know, um, I'm part of a research group, and... Uh, in that it is led by Dr. Marissa Wilson, and we submitted a grant and received it, and it uh, recipes for resilience, and we tackled um, using ancestral food heritage and agricultural practices as a solution to food insecurity and to climate change. You know there. Are crops that we grow in the past that are very, very useful and hardy. And so we need to go back to some of those recipes. And uh, so, and we submitted another grant, which we won, um, that looks at ancestral um, garden heritage and uh, using it to resolve some of um, the food security issues that we have. But that's just in a nutshell. But it, it's far more complex. But the long and the short is that my my role in in the project is to link to find in history heritage and cultural studies solutions to global problems 
so those are just in a nutshell um, two works that I'm I'm currently working on um, and I, I, I incidentally I love um, you know just Caribbean folk tales and Caribbean um, just uh, you know proverbs stories mythology so I actually maintain a blog space the girl from Lethe and in it I when I get some time I update it um, regularly so it's hosted on WordPress so for example ancestral heritage river um, you know mermaids uh, um, old high stories that I remember growing up and which you know in one way or the other shaped me so I am Dr. Nicole Plummer lecturer Institute of Caribbean Studies.